Welcome back everyone, it's Jeff Chan again from MMA Shredded and today I have 8 tactics used by Mike Zambidis. If you like this video, please like it, comment, share and subscribe. Tactic 1. Dutch block to low kicking the standing leg. Used against Wakao, Kid Yamamoto, Andy Sauer and Giorgio Petrojan. To perform this, Dutch block the left kick. Shift your weight to the right leg and keep your right elbow and right arm tight to your body while your left arm reaches across and supports your right arm. The shin should hit your left glove before your right arm. Your low kick should hit your opponent's standing leg before or at the same time that your opponent's kicking leg lands back into stance. Here it is in my spar. Tactic 2. Overhook brush and counter with the outside low kick. Use against block out and headers. To perform this, push off your lead leg to shoot your hips back and step back slightly. And overhook brush the left kick. Then counter with the low kick. Here it is in my spine. Tactic 3. Dutch block the right kick and counter back with the left hook outside low kick combination. Used against Masato, Giorgio Petrojan, Walkow, Andy Sauer, and many others. Sometimes Mike Zambidis' opponents will throw the right kick to the leg, but Zambidis will still shift his weight to the left with the Dutch block, eat the low kick, and fire back with the same count, the left hook low kick combination. Here it is in my spine. Tactic 4 is the same tactic as 3, but with the left kick. Zambidis will Dutch block and fire back with the right hook to the body. Here it is in my sparring, but I like to fire back with a cross instead, followed by some sort of combination. I like to only use a Dutch block as a last resort. If you know it's too late for you to check or get out of the way of the kick, I will then use the Dutch block. You don't want a Dutch block against a powerful kicker because a powerful kicker will really damage your arm. Tactic 5. The inside low kick to the overhand right. Used against Nicholas Winberg, Boakau, Kozo, Takeda and others. To perform this, Throw a light inside low kick to distract and come over to on top with the overhand right. I like to push off the low kick for momentum versus snapping. Here it is in my sparring. Tactic 6 is the Superman hook. Used against Kozo Takeda, Wakao, Nicholas Winberg, Andy Sauer, Kita Moto, and Zabar Aswell, and probably others. Zambidis is usually a shorter fighter, so he uses the Superman hook to close the distance. To perform this, lift your rear knee in the air to fake a kick and also to leap forward to close the distance, and kick your right leg backwards as you throw the leg punch. Here it is in my spine. Tactic 
Tactic 7, the right hook to left hook combination. Used against any Sour, Shahid Ulad, Kozo Takeda, Zabar Askarov, and Nicholas Winberg. As mentioned already, Zambidis is usually the shorter fighter, so he often closes the distance to get in the pocket and throws the right hook to left hook to the body. Sometimes he hits this combo to the head. Here it is in my smart. Tactic 8 is doubling the right hook to left hook combination. He is seen using it against Kozo Takeda. Zambidis will get in the pocket as usual and he will rip the body with this combination. Here it is in my spot. Before you guys go, please download my first and free mini course called Legendary Tactics with the link in the description below. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll get to this page. Type in your email and click sign me up. You'll then get an email a few minutes later from me like this. Click the download the Legendary Tactics course button and you'll be led to Gumroad. Now all you have to do is scroll down and click the amount section beside name a fair price and type $0. Gumroad doesn't allow nothing to be entered. Then just click I want this and type the email you want the course to be sent to and done, you have it. If you guys have already downloaded and studied my course, please comment below and give me your feedback. Let me know if I met your expectations for a free mini course. Did you expect more or what would you like to see in future courses? Your feedback is highly appreciated. Also, there is a option to donate to my new Patreon page if you guys are interested in helping me pursue MMA Shredded. After starting this channel, I've realized how much I love doing this and helping as many people as I can. My new dream is to eventually quit my current job and work full time producing quality and consistent content for MMA Shredded. Just visit www.patreon.com slash MMA Shredded. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to our channel for weekly content and to our mailing list for exclusive content as well as follow our Instagram page at MMA Shredded.